We've been talking about texting and the texting services. What I want to do here is to use these slides to provide you with a shorter summary. There is a separate video and a separate presentation that covers aspects of texting in much more detail. You elect to tell your friends about your fundraising campaigns and your fundraising activities. You it can elect to tell them via email, which is the default, or you can opt in to text them. Likewise, you can opt in to tell your friends about the gossip. You also opt in to receive texts. So therefore, there should be no hidden surprises if you've elected to text and you've occurred any texting costs from your online funds account. Where you have elected to text your friends about your fundraising activities and the gossip, there is a community contribution associated with the cost of that text message. It's disclosed on the site under account preferences. So if the text message costs you, let's say, 25 cents, including sales tax, then there is a component of that which is a contribution to your grassroots community organizations. Costs for texting are taken from your online funds account. You get a receipt of all contributions made. You get a statement of all texting contributions and you get a invoice and a statement of all of your texting and all of your texting activities. The community contributions will show up in your online statements and your statements where you query online for your funds and Value communities, where it takes a margin on the cost of a text message, that is also disclosed to you. So you can use text messages as a way to make con community contributions as well as engaging with family and friends. Any questions around that? I would suggest that you take a look at the longer video and also have a play with the site to experience what we've summarized here. There was a hand that was half moving. No, you're okay? Great, thank you.